there's this image of being a professional football player that it's all really glamorous and people see the highlight reel on social media, but what you don't see is that you do end up spending a lot of time by yourself. If I had left FCN the first time it got difficult, I would have been gone three weeks in. That's the reality. So it's just, you have to know that this lifestyle is a huge sacrifice. There's things about moving away from home and being away from your family that you never really get used to. I think that you can get more accustomed to how hard it is, but it never gets easier. It's different than a normal job. Like it's more mentally challenging and you really have to just wake up every day and push through it, even on the hard days and lean on the people that are around you. The hardest thing for me would probably be having younger siblings and missing them growing up. I think that's the thing that I struggle with most. It's hard because I've moved from an environment where I, 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 I get my happiness from, which is dance, music, people, you know, like my friends and all that. So when I came to them, I, it was so hard because there weren't music on the streets, everywhere was quiet. There weren't people to make me laugh. Every time people were like, Princess, you are funny. But I had to find something of people that would make me, you know, laugh. Because when I laugh, I'm, I'm, I'm calm, I'm relieved and all that. Also, at the start, there kendte man jo ikke nogen. Uh, og der var man hele tiden på agtigt. Uh, de har ikke presset mig til noget, men hele tiden sådan sørget for, at jeg gør det, jeg har lyst til. Realize that you're not made of glass and that when you're broken, you can be put together. One day, when you get back to your home or wherever you create your new home, things seem a bit easier because you're like, yeah, I did this in another country without, I mean, without the support of the people that mean the most to you. You really got to have your purpose and you've got to know why you're doing it. I think the best thing my parents ever did for me was tell me that Oh, it's if it's too hard, then you can just come home. Like that was the best thing that they ever did for me because it constantly made it my decision and I constantly had to think about, okay, why am I doing this? I think that the best advice that I could give is talk to someone. I think sometimes you don't even know how much something has affected you or how how much it has gotten to you before you tell someone about it and all of a sudden you're crying. Yeah, there's like nothing more valuable than talking to someone if you're going through a rough time or even if you feel overwhelmed and you don't quite know why. As soon as you start talking to someone about it, it could be a friend, it could be a psychologist and you kind of start to like figure out, oh, that's why I feel like that. And, and it, it makes it less overwhelming because you can kind of quantify the reasons and v validate your feelings. It's okay to sound. It's okay to sound sin forældre. So I'm 19 years old, and so I'm going to be a person. One day, I'm going to talk about my father, but also you should also remember to be a child, and still be a child. We are two big family people, so it's also important that you have them. And now I'm maybe a little bit of curling. Så mine forældre, de har også været enormt flittige til at komme og besøge mig. Og det har jo også hjulpet mig enormt meget. De har aldrig pacet mig. De har altid sagt til mig, at jeg skal tage mine egne beslutninger. Jeg har lov til at tage mine egne beslutninger. Jeg vil gerne have, at jeg hygger mig med dem, der er rundt omkring. Og så, hvis jeg savner dem, så, skal jeg, så er de der. Og det er vigtigt for dem, og jeg ved det. Og det har også været vigtigt for mig. De har gjort det på den måde.